it. You seem to be in a very good place right now. Just how do you feel going into this fight, your first non-title fight in a long time? Oh, I feel great. Uh, it's all the same. No pressure. I don't have to prove anything to people. My legacy is big. I will, I will cement that legacy on Saturday. That, that's the point. I'm very excited to be here. The atmosphere is great. My weight is super low. That's why I feel so amazing. And uh, yeah, the atmosphere, the people who I'm meeting here, like big, big, big fans of UFC, uh, of, of MMA, and big, uh, so many fans of Joanna, the real queen of the strawweight division. So I I'm pumped. I'm pumped for this uh, upcoming uh, event on Saturday in Calgary. It seems like they really love you here, though. Yeah, they like me, and that's the point. Like. I don't like to talk about myself and I put myself in shame. Like, I, I get shy when people are like, oh, you are a role model for me, uh, to, to me. And, but here, it's like, it's amazing from like kids, teenagers and adults, like people from the office, like, and, and it's amazing. They stop me on the street and they are so nice. Uh, they are so polite and, and they support me. And very often I hear that I'm not a big fan of UFC, but I'm a big fan of you because you showing to all of us that uh, it's worth it to have a dreams, it's worth it to have a goals, to set the goals, uh, but uh, to, uh, and to work your ass hard to get to the point where you wanna be. And I like to hear this because uh, I'm enjoying my life as a fighter, but more as a human and this is what I matter about and I don't care what people are saying or not saying because I have my own life I know who I am I know who is Jana and Jacek and uh, I know who I want to be so that's the point I, I, I love this place and these people are amazing I will dedicate this fight this win for all of these people who do you want to be Joanna? say again? who do you want to be you said you know who you want to be who do you want I am to be? who I am who you see when you look at me I see Joanna yeah, you see, Joanna, so you don't know, uh, you, you don't know anything about Joanna, so that's the point. People know me only from the octagon, from the gym. I'm a different person outside and, and uh, I am who I want to be, you know. Good person, a great athlete, and people cannot define my fighting career on my last two fights because I've been in this business for 15 years. 100 Muay Thai boxing and kickboxing fights together, six times world. Uh, Muay Thai champion, five times European Muay Thai champion. Uh, very dominant UFC champion for three years. I know my legacy. They can say whatever they want to, but I'm huge. Why um why 115? Why straw weight again and not flyweight? Because I go for this belt after this fight. That's the point. That's why I'm here. Other way I could move. I could move up, but I will like mark my position on Saturday uh, in the fight with Tisha Torres and I will get this title uh, title shot. Do you feel like you need to finish to get a title shot? Because it's very tough sometimes to get a title shot after a decision. Is it? So it? It can be at times, yeah. It can be. Yeah. doesn't have to. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you. Because the UFC is back so fast. I'm back so fast because like I said, it's not only about having a dreams and the goals. I feel and I know that I won my last fight and I should should talk to you guys probably in next two three months with my uh, with the belt on my chest or on my shoulder but the point is uh, people they have a dream they set the goals but they are not willing to put on work and i'm doing this i i will make these things uh, happen very soon that's the point sooner or later i will be the strawweight champion again and after that we will see if i will move up or not are you working with George Lockhart again for this, for this camp? Uh, yes, I do. He's uh, he's here, and uh, he and George and his team are helping me. The food is very delicious. They're taking care of it. My weight is super low, so probably tomorrow I will wake up with in, I will weigh 118 or 119. That's easy. We're gonna smoke this weight cut. How much did you and Tisha train together when she was in America? I didn't train with. I, I trained with Tisha. Uh, uh, Tisha. Uh, once okay. that's it that's it we didn't have a chance uh, we didn't really have a chance to train together to hang out uh, that's it that's do you it. think that's an advantage at all just because she was there for a while no but but my coaches they, they, they some of them they were working with her but I'm focused on what I can do better and I was focused on how I could get better and I'm better athlete and I will show it on Saturday so I don't care like uh, I think that she hasn't faced someone like me 
this level, and you can look at the other strawweight fights, that these fights uh, don't look like my fights, you know, and uh, that's the point. I'm different level, I'm on different level. But happy to face her, and, and that's the guys. fight I'm focused on. And uh, she's a tough opponent. She's rank number five. She just lost to Jessica Andrash, who's who's going to be the next challenger. But I'm here. I will get this spot. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks, Joanna.